So we never fall down, but we can keep our hidden practice going, going until we attain enlightenment. So we can take the empowerment with that motivation. Please, Tara, through this empowerment, protect me from your rebirth. The second level is the motivation of a person of intermediate scope. We wish to receive the empowerment to protect yourself from any kind of uncontrolled rebirth. So we're asking Tara, through this empowerment, our motivation is, please liberate me from all uncontrolled rebirth. The third level, the motivation of a person of great scope, is to receive the empowerment to protect all living beings from the fears and miseries of samsara. So this is no longer uh, just a motivation based on what we want for ourselves, but to receive the empowerment so that we can protect all living beings from fears and miseries of samsara by attaining enlightenment. We need the first two levels of motivation to start with because they are the basis of the third level. So our bodhicitta motivation comes from great compassion. Our great compassion comes from renunciation. And our renunciation comes from not being attached to the things of this life. So each scope is dependent upon the previous one. Best, it is the third level that is the main motivation for receiving this empowerment. So please try to think as follows. At the moment, I must protect myself from the dangers of samsara. But ultimately, I need to attain Buddhahood to protect all living beings. It is for this reason I'm going to receive the empowerment of Aryatara. Please try to generate this bodhicitta motivation. So another preparation is generating uh, special recognitions. So tantric practice involves preventing ordinary appearance. Preventing with well, we do skip it to the commentary because this is we more the empowerment. That that's the way mm -hmm. things Gabby? really are.